All right, family, friends, loved ones. I think I've uh, given you a lot of value, Lord willing, in these first three um, short 10 minute or so videos on the subject of why did Minister Louis Farrakhan instruct his followers uh, at a Savior's Day convention to read the writings of Dr. John Henry Clark. Why did he do it specifically knowing that this man, Dr. John Henry Clark, talked very badly about him? You'll find the answer to those, I believe, in the last three videos. Make sure that you check those out. Make sure that you like this channel. Make sure that you share it with your friends. Make sure that you like this channel, family and friends. I'm going to get right to the point that we're at a new education paradigm. The Caucasian, the pale-skinned Europeans has an education system waiting for your children. You want to stick that needle in their brain and suck all the information of value out of it and inject them with a bunch of garbage. That's how I feel about the education system. The education system now is turning rapidly. It's changing rapidly. It's changing every day. It's 2021. It's January 3rd. It's two days after the birth anniversary of Dr. John Henry Clark. So I had to put some respect on his name, Dr. John Henry Clark. You should look and read his writings. Why? Because a wise man named Farrakhan said you should. Even though Dr. Clark talked funky about him, he overlooked that. He referred you to his writings. I have shared those writings with you in the last three videos. And so now I just want to refer you briefly because this bad boy is, this is a serious piece right here. We're talking about a new education paradigm for the 21st century. See, the pale skinned European always has an education system for you. But do you have an education system for your own child? Now, there are many African-centered schools, not, not as many as I would like there to be or many as there should be or could be. There are very few schools based out of the black church that I know of. Now, if you know a bunch, please share. There are very few schools that come out of the black church. If you know some, share some, but I'm telling you there's very few there is only one uh, education, national education system that is directly for African-Americans, Blacks, or however the original people like to identify. Only one national education system, and that is with the Nation of Islam. Correct me if I am wrong. One national education system because the most honorable Elijah Muhammad in the 30s removed all the Muslim children out of the public school system. What happened that followed? All of the teachers at the school were arrested for delinquency to minors. What did Elijah Muhammad do? He went to there to the jail, to the police station. He said, lock me up too. If you're going to lock them up, lock me up too. If I'm wrong, brothers and sisters, correct me where I go astray. If I'm incorrect, correct me where I'm incorrect at. Elijah Muhammad said, lock me up to in the 30s. He went to jail fighting for our people. So I am referring you like Farrakhan referred you to Dr. John Henry Clark. I'm referring you to this right here. This steady guy number tw uh, 21, the educational challenge, a new education paradigm for the 21st century. Now, there's a lot I can get into about the quality of it. I think uh, Dr. Ava, uh, Sister Ava, Mama Ava, uh, Muhammad for her contributions. I think uh, Sister Betty Muhammad at the National House in Phoenix, Sister Nubian Muhammad at the final call, uh, Sister Tamiko G. Muhammad at, at the final call as well for this powerful document. Now, the Colonel, the kernel of the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is that God is a man, that man is God and God is man. Where did you come from, man? You came from a woman, so I'm not leaving you out, sister. Don't get it confused. She is a goddess or the feminine expression of God. Are you with me? That's the kernel. If you want to put it all in the capsulized, the kernel is that God is man and man is God. And God is working in you and through you. And that is the education system that we need today. Not a watered down version, not the uh, garbage can version that you put in the toilet and flush down with the toilet paper, but that which will make you a God child 
of the Most High God. See the book of Psalms 82 and 6 for a reference that we are all gods. Children of the Most High God. Go to the Bible in the book of Genesis and see where it says that you are made in the image of likeness of who? Of a nigga? No, not made in the image of likeness of who? A God. Are you with me? God and Goddess. That's the, 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 the capsulization, but this wisdom goes so much deeper because it talks about Jesus in the seven I am's. I am the true vine. I am the good shepherd. I am. See, we say I am a nigga. I am a mother. I am a I am an African American. I am black. I am gutter. I am this, that, and the other. But we're taught to say I am a God. Are you with me? I that's the new education system. You don't like it? Well, you know, hey, go and get to what the white man got for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and get it then. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you gotta pick this up. But see, because the, the pale-skinned European, he's ready to go to Mars. He's ready to go to the moon. He's he, he pre preparing his children to, to create space stations. Are you with me? He's preparing his children for a technologically advanced society. And what is he preparing you for? He's preparing, preparing you to clean toilets. He's preparing you to be a waiter. He's preparing you to serve him and his children. Are you with me? That's what he's preparing you and me and our children for. But what are we preparing our, preparing our children for? I'm the father of five. All of my children, the oldest being 13, need an education. Will we wait for that mystery God to fall out of the sky? Lord, give us education. Lord, Father, thank you. Thank you for the education. And it's going to fall out of the sky, right? That's not how it works. God is working in you, brothers and sisters. He's working through you. He is closer to you than your jugular vein. You should pray, not to yourself, but to the God in you. Are you with me? And then get up and go to work and do that work which God has inspired you to do. And I am inspired to be a part of the new education system of the 21st century. And what is that? That God is man and man is God. God is force and power. What did Dr. John Henry Clark, he said that we must prepare our children. What did he say we should prepare them for? We should prepare them to be handlers of power. That's what he said. What is power? It's a mathematical equation. I'm not going to get into it today, but that's what it is, a mathematical equation. Are you with me? Hmm? He said to teach these children to be the handlers of power of all of the resources of Africa. Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad called it East Asia. But hey, let's not, you know, dwell on the small things. Let's look at the big picture. He said to handle all of the resources there. So what is it underneath that soil? I read for you in part three. He said that we have to go back to the land. Did I say in part three? Did I read to you that Dr. John Henry Clark said we have to go back to the land so that we can be a nation again? Hmm? Was it W.E.B. Du Bois or somebody before that said we are a nation within a nation? So I thank my, my teacher, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, for being bigger, being the bigger person, the bigger personality to say, yeah, I know he talked funky about me, but go and read his writings. That's a principle that we're learning in our society. As a group of people, we're seeing that the group is more significant than the individual. And we learn that lesson, not from reading it in a book, but from a man living his life, living and allowing God to work in him and through him. It is not that we should worship him, but we should worship the God that is working in him, the God that is working in you and I. So we need a new education paradigm to teach our children to be handlers of power. It says so much more. Brothers and sisters, go on and pick up the writings of Dr. John Henry Clark. He got something in there for you. He got something in there for you. Muhammad University of Islam. He got something in, in there for you. African centered scholars. He got something in there for you. Public school teachers. Hmm? Are you allowed public school teachers to teach what you think that children should know? Or are you only allowed to teach what is approved of your curriculum. Hmm? It's a new education paradigm. 
Are you with me? Brothers and sisters, like the channel, please subscribe. This is knowledge, wisdom, understanding, culture, refinement, so that we can build a high civilization. Brothers and sisters, we must have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That knowledge, wisdom, and understanding helps us, helps us, aids us, assists us in having food, clothing, and shelter. What good is education if you cannot get food, clothing, and shelter from it? Is the education system providing you with that today, or is it teaching you how to get a job? Let me close this video before my computer shuts down. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We need food, clothing, and shelter so that, so that we can have freedom, justice, and equality so that we can have love, peace, and happiness. Brothers and sisters, I'm wishing you peace and blessings. Until next time.